friends. We're on our way back into work today for Friday. Once again, we have no idea what's on the agenda for today, but uh, we know we're going to be trucking. So I'm on the way there right now. We're going to get the truck warmed up. It's a little bit nipply this morning. It's minus four. It's not bad at all, but should heat up throughout the day and tomorrow is supposed to be hot so it's going to be a good weekend but first let's have a good day today all right let's say it together today is going to be a good day there's bill's clean pickup by the office always clean always clean i don't know how he does it they've got two vehicles they have a an suv too but uh, it doesn't matter which vehicle he brings here, it's always clean. My pickup has been dirty every day this week. I've been so ashamed and so embarrassed to drive past his clean truck every day. <laughs> but I like it though because he uh, motivates me to keep my vehicle cleaner. When I see somebody who takes the extra effort, because that's a lot of effort. I know I talk about this a lot and we're gonna get into some Bullsnot products this weekend to show you how you can help show you how I can help you to keep your vehicle clean as well but what I'm saying here now is that uh, driving past his clean vehicle every day I know that that takes work and effort that does he doesn't just wake up in the morning and poof he's got a clean vehicle so it uh, motivates me to do better but this week I just haven't had the time I've been working long days which is okay and uh, I also, it's been a little bit colder, so I, I couldn't pull out my uh, pressure washer. Well, we got all weekend. We got, we got the weekend. We'll get her all cleaned up. Maybe tonight. It's Friday. Maybe. I think it's Friday. It's Friday, right? I hope it's Friday. I'm so disappointed if I find out it's Thursday, because this whole morning I've been all excited that it's Friday. There she was. Okay, here she is. Let's let's go. Just sneak in beside it. There, there you go. Good morning, you beautiful beast. She's old. She's old. Seasoned, as you'd say. She has seen some things, I'm sure. She could tell you stories. But now she is under my care. And uh, we're gonna see what we can do to f leave her better than we found her. I've already got her all cleaned up in the back there, got all the, the junk out of the headache rack and stuff and got everything organized. Oh, I was gonna bring my vacuum today. Shoot, I was gonna vacuum her out today if I had time. I'll have to do that next week, I guess. Go wake her up and get to work. Okay, 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 okay. Let's check your oil. See how you doing. How you doing? You healthy? You healthy? How you doing? She's still doing good, but she's ever so slowly losing a little bit, or burning a little bit. Which I'm not surprised, it's a very old truck. It needs a rebuild, I think. I'm not a mechanic, though. Uh, nothing to be concerned about, but... She's losing a little bit, a little tiny bit.
birds are singing, sun's shining, diesel fumes are still in the air. Oh, it's a good day. That's a good day. So this is our uh, assignment for this morning. Got 6.05 here. I'm gonna hook her up, button her up. We're headed up to Arburg again. Pick up some stuff there. Bring it back here. Sounds fun, right? So much better starting your day with a nice warm sun, birds singing, and no snow. Going out the back way this morning, just because. Switching it up a bit, keeping it fresh. Making sure it still works. Or 
moved around or anything. Everything is exactly where it should be. And we got half the trailer back there that we can fill up uh, another day. Or maybe later today, who knows? Who knows? No Lamborghini in my, in my trailer today, sorry guys. That does not happen often. I did get pretty excited and I went into the office and I went up uh, to the boss and I, I asked him uh, and all the managers and everything and asked him hey I got this really cool car uh, and we have to unload it and stuff I'd, I'd really like to share it they, they watch my videos every day hey boss hey guys and uh, I wanted to know if I could share this it's like my dream car it's the car that I had like plastered all over my walls as a kid except this was a brand new one uh, so yeah, we can't we just had some guidelines. That's why the videos were pushed back a little bit this week and kind of all over the place uh, because we wanted to make sure that we got all the documentation done. That's what I was doing on Monday was just getting some paperwork, documentation, inspection, and whatever else they need to do with that car done. Uh, and then we bring it back, we unload it, and the customer picks it up right away, and uh, we get it out of our possession into the rightful owner's possession. All right, so we we hold on to it for as short a time as possible. Uh, and it gets to where it needs to be. I don't know where it went. I honestly don't know where it went, but it's probably in a pretty secure garage. That's all I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna guess. But what an amazing car that was. And I'm gonna go on and on about it for a while, I think, because that was one of my dreams. That was like a dream come true. Just being able to see it. I didn't touch it. That's, that's, the, that's the rules. You don't touch the cars unless if you have to. So we haul a lot of different kinds of vehicles and cars and stuff, but you don't touch them unless you have to. All right, and you don't move it unless you have to. And as short of a distance as possible, right? Just from like the trailer to where the owner picks it up. So that was what, uh, what, what we had gotten done there. And it was uh, pretty special. So by the time you guys saw uh, what I had hauled that day, it was long gone already. Gotta move up just a bit. It's gonna place it here for now. Better. Weekend is here. What have you guys got planned? For us, our washer and dryer broke down. Well, actually just our washer broke down. And you're gonna see that in tomorrow's video. 
Uh, it's a lot, probably going to be a lot longer video than this one. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that was a little bit of an adventure. Unexpected expense, but isn't that what life's all about? You just finally start catching up, and then all of a sudden, boom! Something breaks down, and then you buy that. You're like, all right, we're going to have to catch up. But before you can catch up, boom, another thing breaks down. <laughs> Not complaining, though. I mean, you all deal with all the exact same things we do. That's just life. So, yeah, this weekend is uh, going to be pretty much dedicated to getting a new washer and dryer. Uh, the wife wants a set, so the wife's going to get a set. I have to agree with her, though. I actually would like a set as well, too, so that they match. Because the washer and dryer is the first thing you see when you come into our house. And if the first thing you see doesn't match, it really sets the tone for the rest of the house. <laughs> Maybe just me? I don't know. It didn't really bother me that much. It's laundry machine. As long as they work, right? Whatever, but... We're gonna go get a set. And, uh... I guess just hang around and wait till Monday so we can go back to trucking. No idea what we're doing next week yet. But, uh... I can tell you it's gonna be fun. I can tell you what I'm gonna do until then. As little as absolutely possible. It's gonna be great. A few introductions, real quick, before we go. Wiener, for those of you who haven't met you yet, state your name, state your purpose. My name is Vina. This is, his name's actually Frank, but he's also Frank. So that gets confusing. He was a foster uh, that we took on, and he uh, became a part of the pack. So he's here now as well. So we got Frank and Frank. So to uh, distinguish between the two, he's a Dachshund, purebred Dachshund. So he's a wiener dog. So we call him Wiener. And he responds to it. He actually likes that name a little better, I think. So this is Wiener. We call this guy Big Frank. That's how we used to, you know, there was Frank and Big Frank. But now there's Wiener and Frank. He's also the commander of the Galactic Federation. Uh, just so you know, I know you guys have heard a lot about us already. Uh, not what you expected, I know, but you should see him in his true form. Maybe one day, maybe one day when uh, everyone lets lets it out, right? Everyone lets us show. Exactly. So he's the commander, he makes all the rules. Off in the back of our house here, we got my messy workstation where sometimes I work, sometimes I don't. And we got Chevy McFluff. He's our biggest boy. He is, uh, Chevy. <laughs> He's a big boy. He's a very soft, sensitive boy. We won't bug you for too long, Chevy. He always sleeps in here because it's quiet in here. And we're too noisy for him. And he likes to get his matterslope all the time. His rest. Right, Jeff? See, he is half golden retriever. Half German Shepherd. And if you haven't already heard, the story behind that is when Britt and I got married, uh, we decided to get a new dog. And I wanted a German Shepherd, she wanted a Golden Retriever. And then we found a breeder that put them together into one. And we got him. Uh, we got him actually with some of our, uh, our money that we got as gifts from the wedding. So he is a wedding gift to us from all of our guests there. Hey, Chevy. But he's priceless. You can't put a price on this guy. He's the best dog I've ever had. Don't tell Diesel. He's so well behaved. All right, and what else we got going on here? Oh, we got a weasel. The one, the only, the lord of all the weasels. The lord of the weasels. And all of our laundry. Don't mind that. It's laundry day. A normal person just like you. Diesel. Diesel has been with me pretty much every day for the last 10 years. He turns 10 years old in August this year. Can you believe it already? We started making videos when we got him as a puppy. You're the same age as my channel. I don't know why I'm resting on his butt. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's a good pillow. Good boy. 
Anything you want to say? It's nap time, eh? It's Sunday and I'm disturbing all their naps. You're a good boy, Diesel. Diesel, Weasel. Yeah, that's the family. Uh, the wife's at work right now. I'm sorry I can't introduce you to her. I'd really love to uh, include her in a lot more videos. I know. I know she hasn't been in a lot. And that, that hasn't been on purpose. It's just our work schedule, the way it works. And usually we come home in the evenings and uh, we just want to relax. And we're already in our pajamas by the time we... By the time we get going with everything. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll make a point of that. Yes, she's at work right now. She's making, bringing home the dough. So if you're new to the vlogs here, hey, how's it going? I'm Josh, you can call me Josh. I drive a truck, so I'm known as Trucker Josh. I'm pretty easy to find, you can just Google me. But hey, you don't need to do that because you've already found me. Mm, see, my brain's already shut off, it's the weekend. Should have known that. But yeah, tell your friends about the channel if you like it. There's a lot of different variety on this channel. Yeah, the majority of what I do is trucking, but this channel isn't a trucking channel. It's not all about trucking. It's also about my life uh, outside of trucking, because that, that, it, it's the whole big picture is what I'm trying to share with you here. We've been doing this for a while. We're on episode, what, what is this, 2273? Or 2272, right? So 2,272 videos. And I'm, I have quite a few from before that, before I started counting it. Been doing this since 2011. So some videos are longer, some are shorter, some I have the time to invest like hours into, others I sort of have to throw together, but the goal is to get somewhat of a daily experience on record here for you guys and a daily vlog. I don't release every day. I wish I could, but some days, you know, I work real late, I get home, got responsibilities to take care of, there's no time to put videos together. So what I always tell people is that I make videos, I try to make a video every day, but I don't promise every day. Okay, so I'm a daily vlog channel, but uh, you'll just have to understand that some days there won't be a video, or maybe there won't be a video for a couple of days like this last week, and then we'll catch up and like do a, a do a big dump on the weekend and dump three videos in your lap for you to enjoy over the weekend and sort of catch up like that. I don't really have a schedule, but I appreciate you for being here. I appreciate all my viewers, those of you who have been here the whole like 10 years, and those of you who just found me now. Don't forget to hit that like button before you go. It helps me a lot. It helps with the algorithms. That's an easy and free way to help me and my channel. Uh, you could always share it with your friends as well. If you want early access to my videos, it could be a few hours early or even a day early. Uh, down below in the description, there's a link to my Patreon page where you can become a patron and you get early access to all of my content before anybody else. So there's that as well. Anyways, thanks for, thanks for watching today, everybody. Appreciate you and we'll talk to you in our next video. Uh -huh.